I made this video to showcase different neurodivergent traits and behaviors in the 10th doctor, or ones that I relate to personally. You don't need to take this seriously if you don't want to, it's just for fun. However, a big reason I decided to do it is because of the following audio excerpts. Whether you can hear them or not could depend on how neurotypical your mind is. What are you saying exactly? She asked. I'm many things, Sugar Macaulay, but neurotypical has never been one of them. Here are coffees. Easy when you know how. Where's mine? You? You're the last person I'd give caffeine. Oi, Sylvie, search ADHD. I bet his picture comes up. 10 is prone to palilalia, very similar to echolalia. Repetition of vocalizations, oftentimes words, made by the same person. Did you win the election? Landslide majority. Oh, fan. No, hold on. Fan. Fantastic. 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 Fart. Fart. I can't say anymore, it doesn't fit the teeth. Oh, I like that word, what am I going to say now? Brilliant? Brilliant. Brilliant. Brilliant! No, um, um, excellent. Oh, that's, that's, that's excellent now. Uh, superb. Marvellous. Uh, mm. Molto bene, oh, I don't know. Let's just settle for very, very good. Yes, that's very, very good. That's really very, very good. No, it's not taking off, is it? If I might interrupt. Because you're so thick. You're Mr. Thick, thick, thickety, thick face from Thick Town, Thickania. And so's your dad. Murder, allons-y. I should say allons-y, am I right? Allons-y. Look sharp, Rose Tyler, allons-y. And then it'd be really brilliant if I met someone called Alonzo, because then I could say allons-y, Alonzo, every time. You're staring at me. So, physics. Physics, eh? Physics. 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 Physics, 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 physics. Physics. Ten has different stims, some are very subtle, such as tugging rubbing his ear, or ruffling his hair. When frustrated he tends to hit his head. Most of his stims aren't extremely obvious, unless he's excited, frustrated, etc. Stimming, the repetitive performance of certain physical movements and or sounds. See that's all blood control is, a cheap bit of voodoo. It's that man again! He's my good luck charm. Come in. Don't be shy. Really? Hmm. Her Majesty. Way back at the dawn of the universe, nobody was sure if they were real or legend. So the question is, who's taking them? And what for? So. Time was four Daleks could have conquered the world. But it's. I was a different man by then. Oh, thanks. But he goes back years. He's famous. Everyone knows the story. Well, I do now. I like it. I love the proms. I was at the very first proms. 1895, I played the tuba. I was brilliant. Stone, there won't be a cure for a thousand years. He might be up in a bow, but only as a statue. You can tell you're getting older. Your assistants are getting younger. I'm not his assistant. No. I get you, Tiger. All these separate things, they're not separate at all. They're connected. Oh, my head, my head. What is... Out of nowhere, I mean real people. I mean... Two... Because I was just travelling past, I swear. I was just wandering. If I was a wanted plasma boss around by a police, what would I do? That was the day after the election. That's only four days after I met you. We went flying all around the universe while he was here all the time. Yeah, but... Nice wheels. Yeah. Oh, she's double it, honey! I've got time. Still... If there are aliens at work... Great big outspace dance. Yeah. Ready when you are, sir. That's oh, brilliant! Getting a taste for it, Doctor. It was donated by Mark Chambers on the occasion of his death. Not even a whisper. Oh, that is fearsome technology. But if it's a choice between baking in there or roasting out... Think, there. think, 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 what have we got? Now you're getting it. Hey. Oh. Orders from above. Mm. Coronation day, the eyes of the world on London towns, when any sort of problem just get swept out of sight. Please, when Torchwood comes to write my complete history, don't tell people I travelled through time and space with her mother. <laughs> Charming. I've got a reputation to uphold. Ah, the war's not going so well then. The man himself? Whoa, you don't mean. Shakespeare in there? Oh, yes. You just think they make you look a bit clever? In our death, there'd only be comedies. Dying gives us signs. All they want to do is pass it on! Pass it on! Pass on what? Pass on what? Pass it on! Get down, get down, get down. 
Same software, different case. I've been on the pills two weeks now. I've lost 14 kilos. That's the same amount every day? One kilo, exactly. You wake up and it's disappeared overnight. Well, technically speaking, it's gone by 10 past one in the morning. What makes you say that? It's history for them. All decided. They think their future is real. They don't know it's still up to you. I don't talk about it. You're not talking about it. There's no one else here. Go on, ask them. Pass it on my head. Tetradecagon. Tick, tick, tick. Words, letters, numbers, lines. No, wait. Um, um. Oh, of that remix. Um. Clone feed. It's clone feed! Thick heads too full of stuff. I need a bigger head. Not one at all. No. Same safe food seems to be bananas, notices differences in foods, and strong dislike for pears. Among other things, I think I just invented the banana daiquiri a couple of centuries early. Always take a banana to a party, Rose. Bananas are good. Milkshake? Uh, I like banana. Mm, yeah. Bananas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Top banana! You eating those chips? Yeah, they're a bit different. I think they're gorgeous. And five, very important, five, don't let me eat pears. I hate pears. John Smith is a character I made up, but I won't know that. I'll think I am him, and he might do something stupid like eat a pear. In three months, I don't want to wake up from being human and taste that. Has a reoccurring special interest slash hyperfixation on different things, such as little shops, robotics, and gadgetry, and human history slash historical figures. Nice place. No shop downstairs, I'd have a shop. Not a big one, just a shop. No, no dentistry, no sign of a shop. They should have a shop. Not exactly NHS. No shop. I like the little shop. That's where I'd put the shop. Right there. Oh, look down there, you got a little shop. I like a little shop. Of course we're safe, it's a little shop. Right, brilliant! That's why I like the little shop. Oh, you are beautiful. Oh, really, you are? You're gorgeous, look at that. Space Age clockwork, I love it, I've got chills. Look at this. Stunning. What does it do? Particle extrusion, hold on. Brilliant. Oh, now. That's clever, look. Single molecule fabric, how thin is that? Put it back a tent in a symbol. Ooh, gravity simulators. Terraforming? Biospheres? Nanotech steel construction! <laughs> this is brilliant! Oh, beautiful work. That is so simple. That's incredible. It's like a television, but portable. You knew the Isolus was lonely. This is my timey-wimey detector. It goes ding when there's stuff. Also, it can boil an egg at 30 paces. Whether you want it to or not, actually, so I've learned to stay away from hens. It's not pretty when they blow. Three TARDIS... Oh! What? Gotta go! Sorry! Ah! Oh, we've got excitation. I'm picking up something very strange. Ding. What's that? It's a machine that goes ding. Made it myself. Lights up in the presence of shapeshifted DNA. Ooh. Also, can microwave frozen dinner from up to 20 feet and download comics from the future. I never know when to stop. Poisson. Renette Poisson. No. No, 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 no way! Renette Poisson! Agatha Christie. What about her? That's me. No! <laughs> You're kidding! 
Agatha Christie. I was just talking about you the other day. I said, I bet she's brilliant. I'm the doctor. This is Donna. Oh, I love your stuff. What a mind. Can come off as blunt or rude without meaning to. And you, Rose Tyler, fell how good you were. You gave up on me. Oh, that's rude. That's all man I am now. Am I rude? Rude and not ginger. It's a bit rubbish. How many prisms has it got? Way too many. The magnification's gone right over the top. That's a stupid kind of... Am I being rude again? Yep. But it's pretty. It's very... pretty. Our family's coming back home. Don't you think it's beautiful? I think it's horrific. It's weird. I mean, you're not special. You're not powerful. You're not connected. You're not clever. You're not important. This friend of yours, just before she left, did she punch you in the face? Stop bleeping me! Well, then, Martha Jones, question is, how are we still breathing? Well, we can't be. But obviously we are, so don't waste my time. Same as ever. Although, have you had work done? You can talk. Oh, yes, the face. <laughs> Hello, sweetie. Get out. Doctor, what's that say about me? Everything. Sorry, did I say everything? I meant to say nothing. I was aiming for nothing. I accidentally said everything. Down right in the middle. Tendency to info dump, usually about the year they are visiting, sometimes historical figures. 1979! Hell of a year! China invades Vietnam! The Muppet movie! Love that film! Margaret Thatcher, <laughs> Skylab Falls Worth, with a little help from me, nearly took off the thumb. And I like my thumb. I need my thumb. I'm very attached to my thumb. Oh, but this is a brilliant year! Classic! Technicolor! Everest climbed, everything off the ration, a nation throwing off the shadows of war and looking forward to a happier, brighter future. <laughs> Poisson. Renette Poisson. No. No, 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 no way. Renette Poisson. Later, Madame Etoile. Later, still Mistress of Louis XV, uncrowned Queen of France. Actress, artist, musician, dancer, courtesan. Fantastic gardener. Any number that reduces to one when you take the sum of the square of its digits to continue iterating until it yields one is a happy number. Any number that doesn't isn't. A happy prime is a number that's both happy and prime. Now type it in! May come off as socially awkward at times, as well as missing social cues, giving literal answers, or being oblivious. What, what's, what's with the voice? Oh, I don't know, just larking about New Earth. You, me. Well, I could talk. New, new doctor. Mm, aren't you just? <sighs> that man over there. Who's Lucy? She's carrying the salmon pinwheels. Oh, that's Lucy, is it? Yeah. There's a lot of things you need to get across this universe. Warp drive, wormhole refractors. The only thing you need, most of all, you need a hand to hold. <laughs> No, no, I'm going to. <laughs> oh, I'm... Done. You're completely mad. You're right. I looked after one shoe. Why haven't you got back up? You must have a partner or something. Ugh. Humans, we're stuck on the moon, running out of air with Jadoon and a blood-sucking criminal. You're asking personal questions. Come on. Sorry. There's not much room. Us two here. Same bed. Tongues will wag. There's such a thing as psychic energy, but a human couldn't channel it like that. Not without a generator the size of Taunton, I think we'd have spotted that. No. There may be something else on board the ship. Anytime you want to unnerve me, feel free. Will do, thanks. It's been ages since I've been to a dance, only no one's asked me. <laughs> well, I should imagine that you'd be, um, I mean... The conglomeration died, though. Conglomeration, that's what I said! You're supposed to say sorry. Oh, yes. Sorry. You are bonkers. Why? It's wrong blue. Funny thing is, I don't often do Easter. I can never find it. So was that a different time? Although, I remember the original. Between you and me, what really happened was... Oh, Rondian particles. That's what I'm looking for. This thing detects them. A little dish will go around. A little dish there. Right now, a way out was coming pretty handy. Can you detect me one of those? Ah, oh, the little dish is going round. Fascinating. Tell you what I will do, though. Christmas dinner. Oh, come on. 
I don't do that sort of thing. You did it last year. You said so. And you might as well, because Mum always cooks enough for 20. <sighs> Lovely to meet you, Mrs Jones. Heard a lot about you. Have you? What have you heard, then? Oh, you know, that you're Martha's mother and... Um... No, actually, that's, that's about it. We haven't had much time to chat, you know, been busy. Busy? Doing what, exactly? Oh, you know... Stuff. Science geek, what's that mean? But you're obsessively enthusiastic about it. Oh, nice. How marvellous. Oh, very good. Superb, happy day! Um, thanks. Nice to meet you. I'm the doctor. Oh, I should say. Hooray! Uh, you, you've heard of me, then? Well, of course we have. And I have to say, if it wasn't for you, none of us would be here. The doctor and the TARDIS. I... You never said he was a looker. He's gorgeous. <laughs> Take a photo. Not bad, eh? <laughs> Me next. I'm Minnie. Minnie the Menace. It's a long time since I had a photo with a handsome man. Did you just get off him? Leave him alone, will you? Hush, you old misery. Come on, Doctor. Give us a smile. That's it. Hold on. Did it flash? No, there's a blue light. Try it. Start from the beginning. Tell me everything you know. Well, for starters, I know you can't wrap your hand round your elbow and make your fingers meet. Well, sure, Gilly. My, um, snakes and ladders? Quite good at squash, reasonable? I'm being facetious, aren't I? What else have you got? <laughs> Laser spanner. I did, but it was stolen by Emily Pankhurst, cheeky woman. What's wrong with this computer? Are you telling me this building's got a secret floor? No, I'm showing you this building's got a secret floor. But are we safe? I mean, can we move around and stuff? Of course we can. Why do you ask? It's like in the films. You step on a butterfly, you change the future of the human race. I'll tell you what, then, don't step on any butterflies. What have butterflies ever done to you? What, and you grew another hand? <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, dear, yeah. Hello. You're not telling me the TARDIS is gone. OK. Where is it, then? You told me not to tell you. Oh, is this 1953? Last time I looked. Welcome to hell. Oh, it's not that bad. No. <laughs> Over there. <laughs> oh, you beautiful boy. Thanks. I'm experimenting with back combing. Oh. Thanks, have one right here. You're staring at me. A mum's still on wall. If we end up on Mars, I'm gonna kill you. Talk about the Christmas spirit. Is it Christmas? Well, duh. maybe not on Mars, but here it's Christmas Eve. Hold on, wait a minute. What are you dressed like that for? I'm going to hemp in bowling. Why do you think, Dumbo? Have you got any money? Um, no. And you? Pockets. Still got a couple of floors to go, and if I know my history, that makes the day somewhere around... November 1st, 1930. Good. Good. Mm. I appear to be holding your books. Yes, so you are. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I know what it's like. It's like... It's like when you fancy someone and they don't even know you exist. That's what it's like. Come on! You too, huh? Thanks, then. Oh, what's that? My telephone number. What for? Health and safety. You be health, I'll be safety. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Often gets distracted, even in dire situations. Oh, oh, oh. We haven't got much time. If there's pilot fish, then... Where's our apple in my dressing gown? Oh, that's Howard. Sorry. Sorry. He keeps apples in his dressing gown. He gets hungry. What, he gets hungry in his sleep? Sometimes. I'm with the face of Bo. Remember him? Of course I do. <laughs> Big old boat race. I better go. See you in a minute. Very off a dent. Now, there was a nice man. Hold on, what have I got in here? A Satsuma. Now you just wait. I'm busy. First things first. Be honest. How do I look? 
Wembley, 1948. I loved it so much, I went back and watched it all over again. Fella carrying the torch. Lovely chap. What was his... Mark, John, Mark. Legs like pipe cleaners, but strong as a whippet. Doctor. And in those days, everyone had a tea party to go to. Doctor. Do you those little cakes with the crunchy ball bearings You should really top? look at this. You know those, those things? Nobody else in this entire galaxy has ever even bothered to make edible ball bearings. Genius. It must be the Doctor. Rajesh Singh. It's an honor, sir. Yeah. What is that thing? But it was that woman, Miss Finnegan. It was working for her, just like a servant. My sonic screwdriver. She was one of the patients, but. Oh, no, my sonic screwdriver. She had this straw like some sort of vampire. I love my sonic screwdriver. Doctor? Sorry. You called me Doctor. Forgotten about until Lazarus unlocked it by mistake. It looks like Pandora's box. Exactly. Nice shoes, by the way. Sorry, you were saying you should. What do you think, Doctor? Are you my mummy? If you could concentrate. I mean, I've read all the files! Really? What was your favourite? The giant robot? No, no, hold on, let's sort out that one hole. Licks things and puts things in his mouth often, even things he shouldn't. Blood? Yeah, definitely. Blood. Human blood. A positive. With just a dash of iron. Ha. Huh. I wonder. This is very much not right. How many particles of rock? I mean, that's like meeting Charles Dickens and he's surrounded by ghosts at Christmas. What do you sort of sound? This is a trace of something else. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, not good. Here we go. But you're not going to. It's disappearing, I thought, I bet he's killing. Because, do you see, the numbers are counting down. This one ends in 1 4. Don't touch it, don't touch it. Let me. So there's three of you! Can sometimes be clumsy, might be due to spatial awareness, proprioception slash interoception issues. Proprioception is the sense through which we perceive the position and movement of our body. Interoception is defined as the sense of the physiological condition of the body. Mixes up letters, numbers, directions, and locations. 1979. Hell of a year! 1879. It wasn't Croydon. Where well, you dropped me off, it wasn't Croydon. Where was it? Aberdeen. Right. That's next to Croydon, isn't it? Sullivan TV studio. Elvis did hound dog on one of the shows. There were loads of complaints. Good luck, we'll just catch it. And that'll be TV studios in what? New York. That's the one. <laughs> Do you get that New York vibe? Well, this could still be New York. I mean, this looks very New York to me. Sort of London in New York mind, but.
Ah. No, Doctor. We're going the wrong way! No, we're not! We're going the wrong way! Four. No. Wait a minute. Three. One. We are going to climb through this ship. B. No. Two. Got to remember the number. Very important number. Hello, Peter Geronimo. And again, ah, uh, seven six, not six seven. Can be slow to comprehend or process info. It's got new jobs. Pee off some research lab. Hmm? The push of a single button. I will change what it means to be human. <laughs> No, I'm sorry. Did he say he was going to change what it means to be human? That's why I thought we needed an expert. Really? Who'd you get? Oh, right, me, yes. Well, I'm not coming with you. I've been thinking... I'm sorry. I'm going home. Really? I've got to. For a visit, that's what you mean. You dumbo. And then you're coming back. Sure, you are. Pretty boy, you're with me. Pretty boy, with me, I said. Oh, I'm pretty boy. Yes. We'll blurt things out or exclaim loudly. Trouble with volume regulation. Hold on. Oh, I know. It's the mind can escape. That's it! You said it was in the street? Probably. The girl? Of course! What girl? Because the particles are inert. They need something living to catalyze inside, and that's you. Saturate the body, and then... Ha! Ah! The wedding! Yes, you're getting married! That's it! But if I can find this thing first... Oh! You see that thing? Yes, that's it. Wait a minute. Yes! Shape changer! Internal shape changer! Hold on, the architect! The architect! The girl! Come on! Some words to channel energy. Ah! 14! To my safe somewhere out of the way. Tallulah! That's me! Whoever holds the source controls the destiny of this planet. Ah! I thought so. Was that first letter N or M? It's an M. The word is maiden. Maiden! What does that mean? We're near the equator, so. This must be biographies! The bees disappearing. The bees disappearing! How is that significant? I love that hat, but then you touched it. Wow! <laughs> oh! My head is so stupid, you're Captain Adelaide Brook! Can often ramble be prone to racing thoughts? Do not know who I am. It's all untested. Am I funny? Am I sarcastic? Sexy? Right or misery? Life and soul, right-handed, left-handed, a gambler, a fighter, a coward, a traitor, a liar, a nervous wreck. I mean, judging by the evidence, I've certainly got a goal. Oh, yes. There's a lot of unfinished business in this house. His father's research and your husband, ma'am, he came here and he sought the perfect diamond. Hold on. Oh, oh, hold on. All these separate things, they're not separate at all. They're connected. Oh, my head, my head. What if this house is a trap for you? Is that right, ma'am? No turning back. That's almost as bad as nothing can possibly go wrong or... This is going to be the best Christmas Wolford's ever had. Have you finished? Wembley, 1948. I loved it so much, I went back and watched it all over again. I felt like carrying a torch. Lovely chap. What was it? Mark, John, Mark. Legs like pipe cleaners, but strong as a whippet. Doctor. And in those days, everyone had a tea party to go to. Doctor! Do you those little cakes with the crunchy ball bearings You should really top? look at this! You know those, those things? Nobody else in this entire galaxy has ever even bothered to make edible ball bearings. Genius. There is no way a human being can lock itself onto the TARDIS and transport itself inside. It must be... Some sort of subatomic connection, something in the temple field. Maybe something pulling you into alignment with the chronon shell. Maybe something macrobining your DNA with the interior matrix. Maybe a genetics... Ha! Ah! 
the wedding! Yes, you're getting married, that's it! Best day of your life, walking down the aisle. Oh, your body's a battleground, it's a chemical war inside! Adrenaline, acetylcholine, wham, go the endorphins! Oh, you're cooking! Yeah, you're like a walking oven, a pressure cooker, a microwave, all churning away! The particles reach boiling point, shazam! There's a Rachnos web at the centre of the Earth, but my people unravelled our power source. Because you want particles cease to exist, the Rachnos were stuck. They just stayed in hibernation for billions of years, frozen, dead, kaput. So you're the new key, brand new particles, living particles. I need you to open it, and you have never been so quiet. Is there something wrong with you? Oh, there it goes, the frowny face. I remember that one. Mind you, a bit saggier than I ought to be. Hair's a bit greyer. That's because of me, though. Two of us together have shorted out the time differential. Should all snap back in place when we get you home. Better close that coat again. But never mind that. Look at you. The hat, the coat, the crickety cricket stuff, the stick of celery. Yeah. Brave choice, celery, but fair play to you. Not a lot of men can carry off a decorative vegetable. Cold view. Millions of planets in millions of galaxies, and we're on this one. Molto bene. Bellissimo. You said it, Donna. Born in Chiswick. Oh, you've had a life of work and sleep and telly and rent and tax and takeaway dinners, all. Birthdays and Christmases and two weeks holiday a year, and then you end up here. Donna Noble, citizen of the Earth, standing on a different planet. All repair, lovely. Shh. No one knows we're here. Got to keep quiet. Silent running, like on submarines when they can't even drop a spanner. Don't drop a spanner. I don't know, blue, which means. Although, hope I don't just trip over a brick. That'd be embarrassing. Then again, painless. Worst ways to go depends on the brick. Well, you're gaveling, sir. Well, I didn't exactly come straight here. Had a bit of fun, you know, travelled about, did this and that. Got into trouble, you know me. It was brilliant. I saw the phosphorus carousel of the great Magellan Gestat. Saved a planet from the red carnivorous moor. Named the galaxy Allison. Got married. That was a mistake. Good Queen Bess. But let me tell you, her nickname is no longer... <clears throat> anyway. Can be very impulsive, even if it seems intentional. Which leaves us with a great big stinking problem. Because I really don't know who I am. I don't know when to stop. So if I see a great big threatening button which should never ever ever be pressed, then I just want to do this. No! Wait, wait, wait. Where do we think we're... Oh, I'm very sorry, sir. Shouldn't you be at the coronation? They're saving me a seat. King of Belgium, apparently. It's the urge to fall. Doctor! You okay? Not bad, thanks. Who would die first? Well, if you're looking for volunteers. No, don't! It's gone off, whatever it is. And you've got to pick it up. Call the others, I'll get you out! What's she doing? Don't! Do you know what happens if you hold two identical sonic devices against each other? No. Nor me. Let's find out. <laughs> Who are you? I am Spartacus. Doctor, hold on. You said the atmosphere would ignite. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Notices things others don't. Perceptive. Okay, that's scary. You're scared of a broken clock? Just a bit scared, yeah. Just a little tiny bit. Because, you see, if this clock's broken, and it's the only clock in the room, then what's that? What's that? What? That there. Is that a reflection? It's a light. Detective Inspector Bishop. How do you know my name? It's written inside your collar. Yeah, well, that's where I am, and I'm telling you, she's not here. I found her. <laughs> when I hand key. Can you spell it? What does it remind you of? Sort of metal? Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. 
let's hope that from now on this this country can find its heroes in, in, in smaller places. In the most... ordinary of... Says the man dancing with me tonight. Uh, that scarecrow's all askew. For Toff's sake, look where you're going. For such an experienced detective, you missed a big clue. What, that bit of paper you nicked out of the fire? You were looking the other way. Yeah, well, I saw you reflected in the glass of the bookcase. Oh, but you're a couple. Who? Me and him? No one ever knew. We're not. We just work together. For the past five minutes, you've been four inches closer than a man and woman would normally stand. Sometimes has a meltdown slash shutdown. A meltdown is an intense response to an overwhelming situation. It happens when someone becomes completely overwhelmed by their current situation and temporarily loses control of their behavior. This loss of control can be expressed verbally, for example shouting, screaming, crying, physically, for example kicking, lashing out, biting, or in both ways. Yeah, you can't do that! Shut up! If you're here, come on and talk to me! Maybe he's out. Looks like it. Oh, hello. This isn't right. No, 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 no! Need more phase containment. Doctor. No! I can just link up the surface suspension. Doctor, she's I just gone. need to override the safety. I can do this! I can do it! Doctor, let her go. I don't know anything! Oh, no, 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 no! She's double it! I need... I have got time. It's too far, I can't override it. They're all gonna die! Is there anything I can do? Sorry, Donna, this is way beyond you. I've got to double the base pulse, I can't... Doctor, tell me, what do you need? I need a second capsule to boost the override, but I've only got the one! I can't save them! Too hot. Too hot, she's like me. If we wait, we just wait. There's no sign, Doctor. There's no regeneration. She's like you, but maybe not enough. No. Too much. When you start this new world, this world of human and half, remember that. Make the foundation of this society a man who never would. And Ocatrell stops dead. End of the line. So what do we do? Doctor, what do we do? Now don't do this to me. No, don't. 
Don't do this to me. I'll do it. Don't imagine I wouldn't. Now that's what I call a ransom. Doctor. Doctor? Have you nothing to say? Doctor, it's all right. We're, we're in the TARDIS. We're safe. But you were destroyed. Sometimes has sensory issues, including psychic, or even avoid sensory input. Sensory issues can be invisible, such as being sensitive to certain smells or sounds. Sad, you stupid. Whoa, careful. What's she saying? Will you stop ganging up on me? Feeling guilty, are we? Fingers on lips. No, you don't. Come here. Oh, you lovely big fella. Just, just, oh, you're just, all mine. Just put me down. Yes, you are. Don't let me eat pears. I hate pears. John Smith is a character I made up, but I won't know that. I'll think I am him, and he might do something stupid like eat a pear. In three months, I don't want to wake up from being human and taste that. <coughs> oh, my head. What is it? Can you hear it? Singing. For your entertainment, we have the music channel playing retrovids of Earth classics. Also, the latest artistic installation from Ludwig Klein. Plus, for the youngsters, a rare treat, the animation archives. Four hours of fun time. Enjoy. Sitting inappropriately. This can happen in ND people due to different sensory processing, proprioception, interoception, etc. Danny, check the temperature in Ood habitation. Seems to be rising. With his magic wand. If I can key into the absorption matrix and separate the last victim. Travelling through the void. Must have. Aimed it at this dimension like a cannonball. They're called slabs. Oh, thanks. But he goes back years. He's famous. Everyone knows the story. For decades? No. Why not? Work for me. It's made of 18 carat... Eunice's been watching the Ruttigan Academy for ages. Now, this dialogue is handled... The unicorn and the wasp. Step into my office. Professor Song. How does the data call work? What's the principle? What's cow? Bombarded by the sun. The doctor? Hello. The story begins with the Cybermen. How? Miscellaneous. Mainly things that didn't fit into the other categories, but still relatable to ND traits. Something important. What was it? No, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh! I know! Merry Christmas! Do you know him or don't you? Donna! Why? Working. Sorry. Find a planet, get a job, you live a life, same as the rest of the universe. I'd have to settle down. Get a house or something, a proper house with 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 doors and things, carpets. Me, living in a house. <laughs> now that, that. That is terrifying. You'd have to get a mortgage. No. Oh, yes. I'm dying. That's it. I am dying. It is all over. <laughs> oh, you've redecorated. I don't like it. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, you never do. Um, what are you doing that for? Because you told me to. When was that? About half an hour ago. Um, you can let go now. Zeus plugs. Where are my Zeus plugs? I had them a minute ago, I was using them as castanets. Just stand there, because I'm gonna hug you. Is that all right? I suppose so. Here we go. Come in. Oh, human beings, you are amazing! Ha! Uh. Hmm. Pickles. K9! Rose Tyler, Mickey Smith, allow me to introduce K9. Well, K9 Mark III, to be precise. Ooh, what's a nasty lady done to you? Hey? 
Oh. Hey, now we're in business. Master. He recognizes me. Affirmative. Come on then, you'll be okay. Nothing. Who are you gonna call? Yes, Master! I ain't afraid of no ghosts. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Listen, I need to find out what's programmed inside this. <laughs> what? Stop it. First I thought I'm gonna need money. I was a bit vague about money. Where'd you get money? From the day they arrive on the planet and blinking step into the sun. There is more to see than can ever be seen. More to do than... No, hold on. Sorry, that's the Lion King. No, sir. Not you. Not that thing. None of it. Oh, so it's just Rose then. Nothing out there to tempt me. Well, I don't know. I can't worry about everything. I could just get this thing to... Rose! 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 If living things can become drawings, then maybe drawings can become living things. Ooh. Give me the Steiner magnetic um, thing in your left hand. Same energy that's snatching people. That is so dinky. Only seems like yesterday a few naked Greek blokes were tossing a discus about, wrestling with each other in the sand as the crowd stood around, bank. No, wait a minute. That was Club Med. Did you see? Rebooted in three minutes. Why is it? Void stuff. Nice to see ya. Tim Toothy Timber. That's the TARDIS. And that's you. The particles inside you activated. The two sets of particles magnetize and whap. You were pulled inside the TARDIS. I need to find out exactly what this is. Because then I'll know exactly what we're fighting. Yay. This is artificial. Ladies and gentlemen, the Lorenzi... Genetically engineered. Whatever this is, oh, you're clever. Oh, look, they got nibbles. I love nibbles. Give me the sonic screwdriver. What? Now, quickly. Yes, way. Who's the lucky man? What, man? Lucky what? She's engaged, you prawn. Really? You too? Tom. Promise me you're going to take care of her. She takes care of me. Yeah, it just looks like a thing, doesn't it? People don't question things. They just think, ooh, it's a thing. Don't Give me a break. We'll be late for cocktails! Shamble, bobble, dibble, dooble. Hello, I'm the Doctor. Happy Easter. <laughs>